this top shaft right here and they both come out they're not they're free floating in here but this top top shaft right here is a little bit different than the other shaft it has a kind of a cut end and it also has a hole in it a couple holes and it has a o-ring for some reason so yeah we have to remember that, that o-ring one goes in the top one here now the next thing we have to do is compress the springs and in order once we compress the springs this is the very top of the valve right here this little piece right in here and that's held in there by the two little tiny um, their little clips but the only way for the clips to come out is the spring has to be compressed you can compress the spring in a lot of different ways but it's best to use a valve spring compressor which consists of different size valve spring attachments and for ours today this will be a real small one I think it's um, 70 millimeter no maybe it's 60 millimeter but it has a fitting there that fits right over the top of the spring or if you want you could go with a little larger one this is this is a little larger right here and you can see that may may fit a little bit better right there but the point is we need to compress the spring and being able to get at the the two little bits that hold the valve in there and take them out after we get the two little holders out the valve will basically just fall out so that's what that's where this tool comes in into play right here as you can see it's kind of a weird looking c-shaped thing what it does is we have one end right here that holds the valve in place from the bottom or I don't know if I can do this well from the bottom and from the top we have a screw in thing that will screw this down in and compress the spring so we can release the uh, spring clips and so the valve will come out now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up and we'll take out the valves together but I'll have to it'll take me a minute to set this up with two hands